It is not your job to make her happy. As a boyfriend, as a husband, yes, you have certain responsibilities to stay loyal to her, to be there for her when she needs to talk to you, to conversate, etc. As a husband, I feel you should make sure she has shelter, she has food, she has the things she needs, etc. But it is in no way, shape, or form you who are responsible for her happiness. Her happiness can only be defined by herself. She needs to be grateful for the things you do, for what you provide for her, for who you are, for being that rock in her life, that stability, for being there to protect her, to give her the things that she needs sexually, financially, etc. Those are your job. But you cannot make her happy unless she wants to be happy. She can always look at you every day and think about some other guy who she wants who's better than you. She can always look at her house and think about her friends who have a bigger house. She can look at your car and think that she should have a better car. She can look at her clothes and her jewelry and think that she should have nicer, more expensive ones, etc. You are not responsible for that. That is not your fault. You are out here doing what you need to do. You are paying your bills. You are being there for her. You are helping her when she needs your help. Because that's what you just do as a good boyfriend or a good husband, etc. But you are not responsible for her happiness. When she wakes up and says, oh, I feel miserable today. I'm depressed. That's not your fault. It's got nothing to do with you. That, that is something with her. Maybe she has an emotional imbalance. Maybe she needs to speak to a psychiatrist. And a lot of these women need to speak to psychiatrists. Maybe she has a problem. Maybe she's thinking about some guy who did something to her in the past. And she's blaming you for it. That is not your fault. You are not responsible for her happiness. And she is not responsible for yours. She has things that she needs to do for you. She needs to be there for you. Emotionally, etc. She needs to be somebody that you can talk to. She needs to be supportive of your endeavors, of the things that you're doing, at least the positive things that you're doing, that you're trying to do with your life, etc. She needs to be there for those. But she's not responsible for you waking up in the morning and whether you are happy or not. You need to be happy with your life and the things that you're doing in life. And if you're not, then you need to change things. You need to change nouns. People, places, and things. That is what a noun is. You need to change those things if they do not make you happy. And maybe one of the people that you have to change is her. Or maybe one of the people that she has to change is you. Some people are not ready for relationships. Some people are not thankful for the things that people do to them. If you are a man who wakes up and you go to work and you bust your ass at work and you come home and you pay the bills and you're there for her when she needs you to talk, etc. She needs you for physical comfort, mental comfort things like that, then you are doing everything that you need to do. And if she cannot be grateful for that, then you need to leave her. She needs to leave you. You are not responsible for her happiness. You are not responsible to make her happy. You can do things for her because you care about her, because you love her, because you cherish her as the woman that she is. But that is not your job. Your job is not to make her happy. Your job is not to take your last little bit of money and go buy her a gift when you know the kids need school supplies. You need to go spend that money on school supplies. When you just come home from working a 10 hour shift and you need to relax, she needs to respect and understand that, not complain that you don't wanna go out with her or you don't wanna go watch some Lifetime movie or something with her because she needs to respect what you're doing and what you're providing and the time that you're giving. Time is the most valuable thing in this world and you're going to work and getting paid to make this money to bring home and pay these bills and do these things for this woman she needs to be respectful and thankful for that and i'm not saying that women are property and not saying oh she has to respect she does have to respect that because if not she kick rocks she goes somewhere else you are not responsible to make her happy because she didn't get to go to rome because she didn't get to go to paris because you don't drive a nice enough car that is called being ungrateful that is being a spoiled brat that is exactly what that breaks down to. And a lot of women are ungrateful, spoiled brats. And they don't appreciate the things that you do for them, the security you provide for them, the roof you provide over their head. There are women out here who are married to men who make good money, have a good home, a good car, and are there for the woman all the time. And they are still unhappy. They are unhappy because of themselves, not because of that man. 
That man is giving them everything they need to be good in life. Everything that they need so that they can have a roof over their head, a home. Every other country, women respect this. They respect the man who goes to work, who provides them with a home, who provides them with a car, who provides them with a means to survive so that they can do what they want to do. Woman can stay home and watch soap operas and take care of the kids and she can go to work if she wants. I, I mean, I don't care. Some men care. I personally don't care. If she wants a job, she wants to go to work and make her own money, that's cool. You can go do whatever you want to do. I mean, not anything you want to do. You ain't going to the club with your single friends to shake ass on random men. I don't even know where that bullshit come from with some of these women. But yeah, that's not going to happen. But you can do what you want to do. But it's not my job to make you happy. It is no man's job to make a woman happy. There are women out here who are in marriages and they are unhappy because their man doesn't let them go to the club with their single friends and do single activities. What is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you women that you think it is okay to go out with a bunch of your single friends, let random men talk to you and buy you drinks? Oh, we're just going out to dance. That is the most bullshit, illogical explanation that any woman could give to a man ever. Because if a man says, oh, I'm just, go just going out with my friends to the bar to just hang out. We're going to the club. That ain't what the club's for. The club is literally a meeting place where singles go to congregate and meet each other. That's what it is. We live in 2022. I mean, facts matter and feelings don't. But a lot of these women are unhappy in whatever situation they're in. They're unhappy with the man they're with. They're unhappy with their sex life. They're unhappy with the money. They're unhappy with this. They're, un they're unhappy because they are ungrateful. Because they are spoiled brats. And because they go online and they get attention from men who really don't give a damn about them because these men are seeking attention the same way these women are seeking attention. They're hoping to be acknowledged by somebody. They ain't gonna do nothing for you. I've seen men going, I'll buy you a house. Oh, I'll make you my wife. Oh, you sound like a bozo. You sound like a bozo. Cause this woman has all that and she's not happy now. You gonna do the same thing? She's gonna use you just like she's using the man that she's with right now. It is not your job to make a woman happy. If your woman is unhappy all the time and you're not doing something to cause that unhappiness, don't get me wrong, there's men who do stupid shit. I mean, you're doing things to make her sad or doing things. That, that is not an excuse for you to say, oh, well, it's on my job to make her happy. Well, you are making her sad because of the things that you're doing and the hideous things that you're doing. You might be some dude that's alcoholic, just laying around the couch all day, don't got a job, and you're like, oh, well, it's on my job to make it. It is your job to provide. It is your job to give her a roof over her head to make sure that she has food, to make sure that she's protected. Because if you can't provide these things for a woman, then you don't need a woman. Because you are not a man. You are not an adult. And the way I see a man, at least the way that I grew up and I was raised, is a man is a provider. A man makes sure that his woman is okay, that she's fed, that she has a roof over her head, that she has the things that she needs, etc. If you're not willing to provide them things, but you're crying about her being unhappy, you are the reason. But if you are providing all those things and you are doing everything that you're supposed to do, there's no reason for her to be unhappy except for some type of mental condition, etc. Have her see a psychiatrist or just leave. I mean, it's that simple. Ain't your job to make her happy. 